What's going on YouTube world? I wanted to uh, go ahead and redo the last video that I did. Uh, show y'all my hair in its current stage right now. It's about three days before my three month. And I pretty much like how it's napping up and everything, you know. My ends is, you know, getting kind of nappy. I think I'm going to end up cutting them again because I'm getting them little straight pieces. But I'm trying to wait as long as I possibly can so, you know, I don't mess up the bud and process of my ends. You know, I want them to, you know, seal off pretty nicely. And they are, but not all of them is doing what they need to do. You know, like, let's see if I can get this one right here. Like how this one see if I can show you like how that one got a little curly cue at the end or whatever like that one's gonna bud off real nicely but then I got some that got kind of curly cues but then they kind of straight at the same time so you know I'm gonna see you know how that go how that changes or whatever but um special announcement I am officially single I know before I said that I was engaged or whatever but it's pretty much you know not really what I wanted, you know, the person that I thought I wanted to be my life partner. That wasn't really the case, you know. Everything that you think it is ain't always what it seems. And you never want to put yourself out there to marry a person that's not who they say they are. So, um, to those of you out there who are going through, you know, little trials and tribulations with your relationship. Or you just got out of a relationship or whatever. Just keep pushing forward and make it do what it do. You know, don't strive and thrive on what used to be or what could have been and other things like that. Just move on with your life and do what you can. You know, focus on yourself and what you got to do with your life. Don't believe and feed into that whole it takes getting under someone else to get over someone else. That's not really the case because all you're really doing is set yourself up for failure. Because if you never give yourself time to heal, then how could you know that the next person that you get with is going to be the one for you? Because you're too busy harboring the pain or the frustration or the anger or the bitterness or whatever from the past relationship that you got out of. Um, believe me when I say that when you're in a relationship, when you're so miserable and you frowning more than you smiling, you know what I'm saying? Once you finally let go and you can breathe and you know you feel a lot better than you felt before and that's pretty much what I'm experiencing right now like you know I thought it was gonna be oh so hard you know I was just gonna be in my feelings and all different type of stuff like that but in all honesty I'm not and it feels pretty damn good to not have to sit there and try to convince a person of what they not doing right and what you doing right or what's going wrong or whatever like that you know it, it is it's it's amazing you know what the what the heart can withstand and things like that just like just know know what you're looking for know what you want know what you don't want and then you can easily just go from there and it, it'll make it a lot easier to deal with you know what i mean like just get advice from those who was going to give it to you raw and uncut get advice from those not don't get advice from the ones who are going to tell you what you want to hear or be also negative about it like what you really want to do is get advice from people who is going to give it to you just straight raw and uncut and who going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not they're going to tell you what you need to hear not what you want to hear what you need to hear and what you should hear um give your problems to the man upstairs pray as much as you can just do what you can just Make it a point. Just pray for that person and that they get out of whatever they in. So, you know, don't be bitter about it. Don't sit there and, you know, get all mad and be all angry. And, you know, do negative things, you know, because it's just like once you get involved in all that negativity and it's going to consume you and it's going to make you into a negative person and being a negative person is not good. I learned that in my past, you know what I'm saying? In, in a past relationship before the one I just got out of, it was just like negativity, you know, it just takes you to a place that you really don't need to be you know what i'm saying they say that it's a dog eat dog world and in certain cases that may be true but i'd rather be a nice soft genuine person rather than being this nonchalant i don't care about this i don't care about that i'm only worried about myself type person you know like when it comes to what you gotta do with your life then you worry about yourself but when it comes to others in need of help help others as much as you can but understand distinguish between helping those who want to be helped and helping those who don't want to be helped like i had to learn that the hard way you can't help everybody if a person is consumed by negativity then you just gotta let them be consumed by negativity if they want to get away from it then they can get away from it on their own but you can't force a person to be better they gotta want to be better on their own they gotta want to be better themselves 
You just got to keep pushing forward and make it do what it do. Don't worry about what's going on in their life and, you know, what they saying about you and things like that. Don't worry about nothing like that. Just worry about what you got going on. Just worry about the fact that you're not the one who's being bitter and you're not the one who's spreading negativity about them and you're not the one who's throwing dirt on their name. Just see it as what it is. You couldn't do all that you tried to do. It didn't work. You did all. You did the best that you could and that's really all that you can do. So, um... Yeah, to those of you who are going through a breakup or whatever, let that roll off your back like water. Don't make it put your life on pause. Don't do that. That's what you don't want to do because then you're going to regret it. Like, why was I sitting there so stupid just like worried about what could have been and what would have been and what should have been when I could have just been focusing on me, doing what I got to do with myself. And, you know, that's pretty much how I'm feeling right now. I'd rather be focusing on myself and what I got to do with me and my future than worried about what could have been, what should have been, what would have been. It doesn't matter. Once that door is closed, another door is soon to open. Just because you just got out of a relationship, don't be worried about getting into another relationship or nothing like that. Just focus on you and worry about yourself. When it comes time for you to be in another relationship, you'll know what it is, but don't rush it. Don't push the issue. Just do what you got to do. And let it be what it gotta be, you know, smile about it. It's nothing to be sad about. You know, you might be hurt or whatever, but you know, it's a whole bunch of different things that's gonna hurt you. You know, you're gonna have haters and things like that. Just brush it off your shoulders and keep pushing. You know, you can't let other people control your life and consume your life because of the mistakes that they made and the things that are wrong with their life that they didn't really wanna, you know, focus on changing and things like that. You know, you can't help everybody change for the better they gotta want to do it themselves and they gotta make it happen themselves but um that's my special announcement for the night um so yeah i pretty much be having more of a smile on my face you know i find myself smiling a lot more be happy about a lot more laughing a lot more you know having a lot more to look forward to and things like that and it's a it's an amazing amazing amazingly heavy weight lifted off my shoulders and i could pretty much breathe now and it feels good to be able to breathe because i couldn't breathe for a while you know what i'm saying and it's just like amen is all i could really say just give your problems to god and you know let him work his magic and do what he gotta do with it you know just push forward don't be bitter don't be mad. Don't be sad. Just do what you got to do. Smile. Be happy. You got more of a reason to be happy now. It's easier. It makes you stronger to let go than keep holding on to just all the negativity. Negativity is not good. Be positive. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know how to be positive, then listen to some Bob Marley or something. That should help you get into the positive mood, you know? Pray. Do whatever you got to do. You know, write down your problems. Anything like that. Just make it do what it do. And just keep pushing forward and live your life. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody try to force you into anything. You know what I'm saying? A person is going to do what a person want to do. So you just make it do what you want to do. And you do what you got to do. You know? Don't be like other people who let negativity consume them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but other than that, yeah. That's my um good news, but uh, I ain't really gonna show y'all my hair. You know I'm saying I'll wait till next month to show y'all my hair, but you know I showed y'all the nappiness of it and whatnot. So um like, subscribe, comment. Got any questions or concerns? Just hit me up. And that's pretty much my rant for tonight. So uh, <laughs> deuces.